According to Howard Silverblatt, senior index analyst at S&P Dow Jones Indices, just seven stocks fueled most of the S&P 500's 15 percent year-to-date advance. We know all about the most loved stocks, but what about the ones longing for some affection here, waiting for somebody to swipe right on them? Yahoo Finance's Brian Sazi. Hey, weekend mode Brian Sazi has his three <laughs> picks for the months <laughs> so ahead here. Up. You look good. Well, one of my That's picks so was the shirt up. I'm wearing. This is just great. great. I this like is great. it. Strong buy on my slim fit shirt. Right, well, let's yes. get to some stock picks here. Real cool piece from uh, our Shauna Smith, our, our senior anchor in the afternoon, and, and yours truly now on our homepage, looking at how the markets have really had a uh, really strong first half, double-digit gains led by, in large part, a lot of those big cap tech stocks, AI names. But if you look into this piece, there are a bunch of stocks that the market absolutely hated. First on the list, that is AT&T. First half or year-to-date performance down 13%. Uh, investors really concerned about slow collections, uh, people paying their bills late because of economic troubles. But the people we have talked to are starting to warm up a little bit on AT&T, seeing perhaps a little bit of an economic turn in the back half of the year. The company's cash flow position may be improving a little. That might have people returning to AT&T, which has had a really tough three or four years or so. Next stock, which is a little bit surprising here, guys, that is Occidental Petroleum, uh, Warren Buffett's favorite stock, but more of this stock last year. Surprisingly, despite Buffett's big buys, shares down about 8% year to date because of the pullback in oil prices, which have been driven by fears about China demand and, and a U.S. recession. But as you get some more OPEC supply cuts, as was announced earlier this week, you could see oil prices start to turn higher. Perhaps that Buffett uh, stock, Buffett's favorite stock, starts to get a bid. And last but not least, Cisco. Uh, shares up 7% year to date, so it's been doing well. It just has relatively lagged the broader double-digit gain in the S&P 500. I think investors should go back to a name like Cisco, look at the company, what they just reported a couple months ago. They will see double-digit sales. They will see a more streamlined organization after some layoffs and maybe a lot better fundamentally, just a better fundamental business than a lot of people expected. You know, this is, this is really interesting. And you wrote about non-tech companies not faring well. CVS Health, another one you mentioned is down 26% in this story. Were there other kind of weak spots right now that even within their own weakness, investors could perhaps look for a type of bounce back? at all from what you were seeing in the data? Well, I, I see there are names. There are striking underperformers. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned CVS Health. Walgreens has also been an underperformer. Those stocks with gain, with losses of over 20%, it's hard mm -hmm. to warm up to them. Mm -hmm. Where is the catalyst for CVS, CVS Health? Maybe is it a uh, really strong flu season in the fall? Unclear. So I don't think you want to go out there and try to you know throw dart at some of these names. You have to look for clear catalyst. Cisco, a clear catalyst, improving business model, improving cash flow at AT&T. There has to be a reason to get involved with these names. Out of all of the three names we mentioned, Occidental Petroleum looks very intriguing. Again, these are not names I'm, I'm saying to buy. That's not what we do here at Yahoo Finance. But again, there is a fundamental setup to get excited by a name uh, by, with Occidental Petroleum. It, and, and if Buffett is throwing billions at it, who the hell am I to argue with Warren Buffett? Right. And but it, is there a case for Occidental to pay for my child's college? <laughs> I'm years out. Wow. And years wow. out. Well, like Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett invests for eternity. So I, right. who are we to argue with Warren Buffett's track record? This if he true. likes this stock, why shouldn't we? Yeah, he's probably got Tony Stark's arc reactor. I think somewhere. he has the same, same shirt too as me. He yeah, does Buffett, actually. Yeah. We've yeah, seen that. Some fit. He was probably wearing it at, at, um, at the annual shareholder meeting. Sazi! <laughs> 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 Always good to see you guys. It's a real pleasure. Yeah, Thank we you. finance executive editor Brian Sazi joining us here today.